Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgia Overbeck and today's video is all about my summer reading list. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I often post about what books I'm reading and I actually really appreciate it. I got a lot of messages and comments from people saying that they appreciate my recommendations and reviews for books and so I thought why not do a little bit of a longer YouTube video about it. So today's video is going to be about my summer reading list. Um, something about me and reading is I always get my books from secondhand stores, whether that's something like Value Village or Salvation Army or random little uh, secondhand bookstores or whatever it is. I just love to go to a bookstore and kind of find like a hidden gem, uh, something that I've never heard of, or sometimes they are books that I've heard of and I'm so excited to find them at secondhand stores. So that's kind of like my... That's how I find my books, and so a lot of the ones that I'm about to show you, I have no idea if they're gonna be good or not, um, but I just thought I would show you what I have coming up. And these books will probably last me uh, one to two months, one book per week, um, so we'll see how long this lasts me. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe, and also comment down below what book you're reading right now and what book you think I should read next or if you have any book recommendations that you've read in the past and really loved and you think that I would enjoy. Um, as you're gonna see here, my favorite book genre is like self-help, business, health kind of thing, like anything about growth, bettering yourself, that type of thing. So let's get into today's video. Number one, we're gonna start off with a book that I actually started this morning. And this is called The Happiness Advantage and it's by Sean Aker or Sean Acker. I'm not sure exactly how to say his last name. Um, I've seen this one a few times at secondhand stores and I never picked it up. And then when I was at Value Village, their book sale is like buy four books, get one free. And so I needed another book to get that deal. And so I was like, I'll finally get this one. So I got it from, uh, again, as I said before, Value Village and it was $6. I still have the tag on there. Um, so I'll kind of like go through this fast because I don't want to read the whole everything on the back, but I'll tell you kind of what each one is about. So it says that it's a must read for anyone wishing to flourish in a world of increasing stress and negativity. The happiness advantage reveals how small shifts in our mindset and habits can produce big gains at work, at home, and elsewhere. So that is what I'm reading right now. As you can see, I like just started it. So I am about one chapter in, but I'll let you know how this is because I'll probably finish this this week. Before I move on to the next book, this is a reminder to drink some water. I have some lemon in mine. Once I finish The Happiness Advantage, the next book that I'm going to read is also from Value Village. And this is called, it's a little bit different than what I usually read, Chakra Foods for Optimum Health. It says, a guide to the foods that can improve your energy, inspire creative changes, open your heart, and heal body, mind, and spirit. And this is by Deanna M. Minich. So again, I got this one from Valley Village, also $5.99. And it's interesting because I, over the years, I've gotten really into kind of like spirituality and manifesting. And one part of that is chakras. And so this book is kind of like how certain foods can help your chakras perform at their best. Don't feel grounded, learn how to feed your root chakra. Crave carbohydrates like pretzels or cookies? Read up on how your solar plexus chakra may be out of balance and what you can do about it. Affirmations for each chakra, as well as a range of meal plans and mouth-watering recipes, round out this superb reference on eating for body and soul. So I'm very excited to read this. I feel like it's very different than what I usually read. It's kind of like a health book and spirituality book in one. And I'm just really excited to read about it. I hope again that it's good. I've never heard about this book before, but I'll let you know. Then after that, I have You Are Not Your Brain, The Four Step Solution for Changing Bad Habits, Ending Unhealthy Thinking, Taking Control of Your Life by Jeffrey M. Schwartz and Rebecca Gladding. So this is what this one looks like. So I think this one talks a lot about habits, which I really enjoy those kind of books that help you change your habits and perspective, give you good tips on how to grow. It says, this book not only breaks down why we're plagued by habits that aren't in line with, your, with our ultimate goals, but also provides the guidance and support for change through their four-step method. While scientifically founded in cutting edge brain research, this easy to follow program will teach you how to find your loving, smart inner guide and lead a more fulfilling and empowered life. 
Sounds good to me. <laughs> Again, I will let you know, I have not heard of this book before either. After that, I've got The Power of Kindness by Piero Ferrucci. I don't know if I said that right. Recommended by the Dalai Lama. That sounds good to me. This one's also from Value Village. It says, this book is a stirring examination of a simple but profound concept. The author, one of the world's most respected transpersonal psychologists, explores the many surprising facets of kindness and argues that it is this trait that will not only lead to our own individual happiness and the happiness of those around us, but will guide us in a world that has become cold, anxious, difficult, and frightening. Author reveals that the kindest people are the most likely to thrive, to enable others to thrive, and to slowly but steadily turn our world away from violence, self-centeredness, and narcissism, and toward love. Apparently somebody else loved it because there are notes in here, but I'm very excited to read this one, and I like the, the cover, like the little sprout on it. <laughs> so I'll let you know how that is. Next one is called Good Habits, Bad Habits by Wendy Wood, and it says the science of making positive changes at stick. So I believe that this is another book about habits, which as you can tell so far, I really enjoy those books. One of my favorite books I've ever read is Atomic Habits by James Clear, and this one definitely gives me similar vibes to that one. It says, we spend a shocking 43% of our day doing things without thinking about them. This means that almost half of our actions aren't conscious choices, but the result of our non-conscious minds nudging our bodies to enact learned behaviors. How we respond to the people around us, the way we conduct ourselves in meetings, what we buy, when and how we exercise, eat and drink, a truly remarkable number of things we do every day, regardless of their complexity, operate beyond our awareness. This book is a comprehensive, accessible, and above all, deeply practical book that will change the way you think about almost every aspect of your life. This is another book I have not heard about, so I will let you know. Okay, next one is called You Are More Than You Know by Patsy Claremont. And this one says, face your fears, grow stronger. Moving from a fear-based life to faith-based with freedom is a journey that takes time and change. Where remaining sacred and small can feel comfortable, taking hold of strength and determination opens our eyes to a measure of goodness we've never seen. Through honest and intimate glimpses into a heart changed by the power of hope, this book is a guide for the journey to find more of you and much more of what life has for you. I hope that it's good. Next, we're almost done, I promise, is Enough by Will Davis Jr. Finding More by Living With Less. Our culture pushes us to strive for more, more money, more stuff, more clout, but how much is enough? And how do we know when we have too much of a good thing? In this book, Will Davis Jr. challenges us to discover the peace that comes through contentment with what we have and compassion for those in need. Through surprising statistics, powerful real life stories, Davis shows us that rewards of living with less in order to be more and do more with our lives. If you want to pursue a life that truly satisfies, read on. So that sounds good. And it was only $2, so can't pass it up. <laughs> Next, this one really caught my attention and I'm really glad that I got it. This is called Jolt. Shake up your thinking and upgrade your impact for extraordinary success. And this is by Richard Tyler. It says, break out of your existing thinking and upgrade your performance. Get ready to be challenged, nudged, tickled provoked and jolted into action. I think this one's gonna be really good. I'm very excited for this book. I have high hopes and I like the front cover. It's very like summery and high vibe and positive. So I'll let you know how it is. And then last book that I have for right now, I'm sure I'll buy more, is uh, Shift Points by Dean Del Sesto. It says, shift your thinking, change your life, 200 ways to improve your life, work and relationships. Ooh, I like the look of this. It looks like there's like a quote at the top and then it kind of talks about it underneath, which I like. We all say we want to grow, improve, and succeed, but so often we silently and effectively kill our own dreams by the things we tell ourselves. This book provides truly unconventional yet highly practical ways to re-engineer your thought, life, and behaviors so you can attain the things that are important to you. The author shows you how to make small shifts in your thinking that can have big impacts. Perfect for daily revelation, these to the point readings will move you to improve all areas of your life, work, and relationships. I'm excited for this one. I think it's also going to be good. I like that how it's like one question at the top and then it explains it. I like that kind of layout for a book. So again, I will let you know how it is. Go ahead and take another sip of water, by the way. This is another reminder for you. Okay, 
And that ends today's video. That is my summer reading list. Just a few books. Um, have you ever read any of these? Have you heard any of them? I have not ever heard of any of them really. I just found them, as I said before, at the thrift store and they kind of caught my eye. I'm really excited to read all of them. I hope that they are great. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed me talking about books. Again, comment down below what you're reading right now, what your favorite books are, what books you would recommend for me to read. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content like this because I'm always reading. And I will see you next time. Bye everyone.